Hi folks, uh, I'm going to slip in another video in between uh, the last one, which was the swing, the gravity swing, and the one that I said was coming up, which is the follow through. And the one I'm slipping in is the forward motion, because don't forget, it's one thing to get the bowl back into this spot. It's then what do I do next and what can go wrong, can go wrong, can go wrong. So. Here we are, we're at the stage of, don't forget, we've got our grip, we've got our pre-stance, we've lined up our bowl, we're coming, now we've got our comfortable stance, we know that number two is going to go down like this, and gravity is going to take the bowl to this point, now what happens? Okay, I see this a lot, and I see a lot of people going like this, especially some smaller, some older people. This will be more relevant even when I do this series on the drive, but right now it's still relevant because in the past to get that extra distance down the green, it was a matter of going back further is what they told you. Yeah, don't do it. Okay, and then lunging forward and all this sort of stuff, right? And you come forward, you come lunging through like this and my back, yeah. And, and you know what? It doesn't do you any good because you can't repeat that sort of motion and it's not a good motion to begin with. So here we go. We're on here, here, and here we are. And we're going, and what's going to happen next? How often have you seen this? What was wrong with that? I'll tell you what was wrong is that you got to this position. Everything was going great until here. And then you stepped forward and you're using your body weight, which could be put to better use. Your body weight could actually help you get the ball smoothly and better down the green. The minute you step forward like that, now you've got the ball. It's come down to here, but now you step forward and now you're still going to lunge back like this and drop the ball because you, okay. So what I'd like you to do instead is go like this and just try this, get this down to here. Take a waggle. This is like a waggle in golf. Just go back and forth a couple times. And then when it does come down this time, everything's, when it gets to here and you get there, then everything's going to come forward. All of, every piece of you coming forward. Let's try it. So down here, forward, and now I'm coming forward and I've planted and away we go. Okay? Try that again. Step back. Here we are. Plant, up, stance, down and forward. So I'm almost delivering the ball, and it might very well be, at the same time it's a plant just prior to when I'm releasing the ball. And why is that so important? Well, if you weigh 150 pounds, if you weigh 100 pounds, if you weigh 200 pounds, why not put that to good use? If you plant yourself like this first, one, you've already planted yourself from your right side to your left side prior to you getting, to getting your ball moving, actually going forward. But the worst part of that is, is that you've actually gone from right side to left side. You've taken all your weight. If you're 100 pounds and you've taken 90% of that and planted it already, then it becomes arm strength. I gotta tell you folks, unless you're unless you're a bodybuilder or an arm wrestler, that arm strength's not gonna do you a hoot of good. Obviously it wouldn't do me a heck of a lot of good, would it? No. Okay. But I can throw a drive as hard as anybody. Okay. I can get the ball up even on the nastiest of slow greens in some areas. Okay. And I can and I can control my weight in all sorts of other areas. So you're wondering, okay, remember in the last video I showed you four different deliveries? And I was wondering if you, if you knew what was going on with those, what was different about them. Do you remember? Okay. So I'm going to do this again. I'll get this other one. And here we go. We're going, to have, we're going to do four deliveries in rapid fire. And I want you to try to figure out what that one thing is that's different each time. Okay. I'll just stand. I'll get to the mat. Here we go. Here's a short end, really short end. I'm playing a guard. Okay, I'm going to play another one, but this time I'm going maybe 75 feet up. Okay, this one I'm going to maybe a 90 foot mark. And the next one I'm going to throw one so I just want to rest the dashboard. Could you tell what was different? Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. And it's not something I did on purpose, because some of you I know are going to be saying, oh, you took a longer step. 
Uh, yeah, but not on purpose. Okay, you mean, what do you didn't do it on purpose? So look, what I do when I do this, and I look at the, the path of a bowl like this, there's a break point. Okay. I play with Taylor bowls, think they're great, I love the ace. Okay. But every bowl has a different arc to it. And that'll be another video for which bowl you should be choosing for what greens and what type of game you want to play. But let's pretend the arc's like this and the break point is right at my wrist. Okay? My job is to get that on that straight path here. Because this is basically a straight path until you get to here. It's not straight straight, but that's, it's the same as a, a 15 foot, 8 foot breaking putt. You still got to get in a line towards your point of aim. That's what I'm looking at here is my point of aim is on the green, two thirds, three fifths of the way up, depending on the pace of the green. And I need to get my bowl here. Well, how does it do the rest? That's not my job. That's Taylor's job to take it on that arc point from here to here. So if I get it here and it ends up here, whoops, there we go, it ends up here, right? then I didn't do my job. I went to get it further. So what I do is I look further. I adjust my, the, how far up and down the line that I look. I'll do a complete video series on that one as well for adjusting length. And I do clinics that are, that are hours long trying to get people to understand that it's here. And that's why you want to be relaxed between here and here, between your head and the bowl. Let's keep it relaxed so that you can visualize that path like a, uh, like a Dwight Stones doing the doing the old high jump. Nope, didn't like it. So he steps back a little bit. Okay, now he's ready because he's visualized the entire path of, the bowl, of, of his high jump and the steps he took. So in this case here, on my first bowl, I don't even need bowls for this, if it's a really short end, I'm visualizing a point that's closer to me. So I want to get the bowl to there. That's my job, get the bowl to there. So here it goes, and I got a little bowl like that. Right? There we go. Notice there's no gap. In fact, my heel is in behind my knee. Regardless of whether you're going to be able to get down that low or not, I can teach you the same thing. It's the same process. Okay, go ahead here. Now I'm going to go that, that 70 footer again, 75 footer. And look at that. It's just, it's even with it now. The next one I took, great, I want a 90 footer. Here we go back. Now I'm looking further down, so I know I have to get that ball out there. And that's me feeling the ball. And this game is all about depth. It's all about feel. And uh, it's so important that you, that you just take all these other, other uh, locked things that you have going on, your locked elbows, your locked knees, um, the backswing, the pendular sort of thing. Uh, you you want to make sure that's why that's, your, that's your, your forward motion is based on your point of aim. The longer stride, the gap that you saw in between my, my heel and my, my knee was just coincidental of me picking a spot further down on the, uh, on, the, on the point of aim, on the line that the bowl is gonna take. I get it to that point, Taylor does the rest of the job, and hooray, we're both winners, okay? So I hope that, uh, that helped. Uh, if you liked it, uh, give a little likey if you want. Uh, if you wanna follow, you've got uh, four others, five others before this that you can actually watch as well, and there will be more coming. I'll be doing some uh, correct and detect ones later on too, but uh, now I can actually say that the next one uh, video in, in this series will be the follow through is not an option. Okay? And I'll see you then. Stay safe, be well, take care.